The founder of the Real Los Angeles Tours, Damian Blackshaw, is focused on eco-friendly travel. His company provides walking and biking tours of Los Angeles. The goal is to create minimal or no pollution. And the tours allow visitors to see and learn about places in Los Angeles not easily seen from a car. The tourism industry in LA is very much focused around the stars, houses, celebrities, that kind of stuff. Um, and you get in a car and, and they drive you around these streets, which obviously aren't where the stars live and so on. But it's, it's clearly not very eco-friendly. The California Department of Parks and Recreation says sustainable tourism is the nation's fastest growing industry. A Visit California survey found 11% of California visitors are likely to worry about their impact on the place they stay. The benefits of sustainable tourism include reducing pollution, minimizing environmental impact, and promoting conservation of wildlife and the environment. Traveling sustainably also helps create a positive experience for tourists and local communities. And I think people feel better when they discover that and they actually do those experiences, that they know that they've done their part to uh, limit the carbon impact of their trip. Traveling sustainably also helps support local businesses and economies. When you walk, you, know, you go to a shop, you buy a t-shirt, you know, or you just get a coffee or something. More interactions are had, you know, um, more money is spent. Looking for eco-friendly options for your next trip to California? Start by giving up the theme parks for a hike in one of the 279 state parks. Other eco-friendly options include biking, camping, or walking around outdoor locations such as Griffith Observatory. For around town transportation, visitors are encouraged to take the metro or bus. In California, uh, we understand that uh, it's the right thing to do to protect the resources, the environmental resources, and the cultural resources of this great state. In Los Angeles, Emily Miranda, Cronkite News.